There are two shops along Kampala Road, which were broken into on Tuesday night. The robbers entered through the ceiling, and items worth millions of shillings in this techno shop were taken. However, the owners declined to speak on record about the robbery. Next door is the Samsung shop, where owners lost cash and items worth over 22 million shillings. The thieves also took the databank, which had CCTV footage. The owner Ali Raza says this is the fourth time his shop has been broken into in two and a half years. Me and my 10 years worker who are with me, our life goes back. They work with me hard to settle back this company six months, end of the day, they crashed us. It is with me, their life goes back. Previously, the owners of this shop used to deploy private security guards to take charge of the security, but after many times of robberies, they decided to resort to police and they had one police officer who was in charge of security when the last incident happened yesterday. The irony of it is that even the previous investigations for the robberies that happened in the past, they have never gotten a report or they have never been concluded. We did not make breakthrough in them and the case file is still open. We are still investigating. A police constable was reportedly sleeping there. And right outside is a chair where he used to sit to watch over the roof of the shops. NTV also obtained some of the payment receipts and signatures, indicating the constable's salary. A phone video, which the owners took yesterday morning, also shows a policeman said to be looking at what had happened. The owner of the shop said he was hired from the MS Plaza police post. However, the police say he was not formally deployed to guard the shop. What we know is that there is a room nearby there that he sleeps in. He has never stopped work where he's supposed to be working, whether at night or during daytime. Kampala Metropolitan Police Spokesperson Onyango explains what could result if it is found out that the constables are unlawfully deployed at the scene of the crime. That is illegal. He will be taken through our disciplinary courts. Interestingly, the robbery was reported at the central police station at 9.30 a.m., but workers claim that the police took long to visit the crime scene. 1.30 somebody came to me, hey, come to room number 25 and give me your statement. They would have come to the scene and see what happened, then they do what? They take action. No. The police officer went to the scene uh, after one hour. On the other hand, police investigations are looking to the next building's security personnel who was reportedly seen carrying items on the morning of the robbery. The owners of the shop say they are frustrated and suspect malice, owing to how many times the place has been ransacked. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.